everyone, welcome to another Inside the Track. I want to play a really cool song by Spencer Wilkinson called Can't Say No, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. I could use another dream. great song so I mean one of the things that we love is uh, working with so many talented artists and when they come in with songs like this it makes it so much easier what I wanted to take a moment to talk about is the turnaround here what happens right after that chorus over the last few years one of the things that's changed a lot is how we've treated intros and turnarounds they've uh, one gotten a lot shorter and two kind of disappeared in a lot of songs uh, with this one, when we were in pre-production, uh, I remember working through, like, hey, what do we want this to be? Because there was this option of go straight from chorus into that next verse. But I felt like with this lyrical content, like... No people to sit with that for a second you know you're you're hearing this tension this story of like you want to be with somebody you shouldn't want to be with so I kind of wanted them to sit with that or the listener to sit with that for a moment before we entered into that next verse and uh, it turned really cool like a you know you hear that steel guitar slide in nice little guitar riff <laughs> story again and you're kind of unfolding some more elements to it. You guys got to go check out the song. It's a great one. But yeah, next time you're working on a tune uh, and you're thinking about what to do coming out of that first chorus or second chorus, think about the listener. What do they need to do? They need to unpack what was just said a little bit or are they ready for some more information? Thanks for watching another Inside the Track and uh, you guys go check out Spencer Wilkinson's Can't Say No. Have a great day everyone.